uh, someone's asking, how do we pressure Muslim rich countries like uh, Saudi and UAE to help provide aid? Uh, how do we pressure these countries to provide aid? I don't even bother with those big picture things. I only operate at the granular level. That's the only thing that's practical. That's the only thing that's uh, in terms of action. And the, pract the granular is the most important way to make change because big people important people where do they emerge out of they emerge out of regular people so if the habits of regular people are really good eventually one day one of those people will be a very important person who makes systems who creates policies okay that affect hundreds of thousands that is the prophetic way of change right because it's, it's we can't look at there's us down here and then there's the systems and the big countries. It's not a disconnect, mm. okay? There is an endless connection between these two layers. We may not be able to see it, but I mean, look at who are the most powerful people in the last few centuries. Probably you would say are the American presidents. Well, the American presidents are not fashioned off on an island somewhere. They come from the regular towns like everybody else. Uh, they're making a movie recently about uh, or coming up on Golda Meir. Well, who is she? She's a regular woman from Wisconsin. She, well, who, what, who is Benjamin Netanyahu? Probably one of the most important people in the world, influential people in the world right now. A Jew from Philly. You know that? He's a Jew from around the corner. He's just a, a guy from around the corner. So all of these, the, uh, these super powerful people who make, create these systems, they say systemic, you know, um, injustice or systemic uh, poverty or whatever. Well, the people who, those systems are made by human beings, judges, decision makers, presidents, governors, mayors, CEOs, billionaires, okay? They don't come out of a vacuum. They come out of the world that we all inhabit. And one of you may be one of them. One of your kids may be one of them. So if every one of our personal environments are rectified regarding consciousness of justice, consciousness of poverty, consciousness of all these things, okay? And when you're constantly giving to the poor, you are constantly seeing the poor. And that puts your scales of life, of importance in perspective. So we do what we can do. But if everybody does that, then eventually, some day, little by little, you can't change these things overnight like the communists try to do. All roads lead back to LGBT and communism, Marxism, on this program. All roads of shar eventually will lead back to these two pinatas. I think there's a higher genus though. Which is what? Individual freedom. Individualism? Individual freedom. Like... It's putting the individual over the community or something other than the self. Yeah. Wouldn't you say that? In, in higher what? Because LGBT, like, as in they all have that common genus kind of. Yeah. They're all, it's, like, it's shahwat. LGBT is like a, a fara of like. Oh, yeah. yeah it's the a fara. Yeah. The, the, asl, is, the asl is materialism. Or we do what we feel like or yeah. we, what we want. Yeah. The asl is that decisions are made because of, we make life decisions and life philosophies based upon our desires or upon our own ideas. That's the asl of. Kufr is one of those two things. Sh shahawat and shubuhat. Desires, the way of desires and the way of false ideas. In any event, we trick. it's going to it's gonna change slowly by that. That's why soup kitchens and stuff like that are extremely important. You never know a recipient from this soup kitchen that we are running or any soup kitchen in the world or a child whose parent is a chef. You know, that could be your next Warren Buffett. You don't think that he is personally affected and that will affect his decision-making going forward, what to do with his billions? The next um, president of the country can come out of one of these soup kitchens. You think I'm kidding? Uh, Bill Clinton wasn't some rich guy, right? He wasn't some rich guy. 